welcome to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials in this video i would like to explaining on objective questions and answers about metal casting processes so here this is our part number 9 that will be also containing with a top 20 questions so let us start with our question number 1 how can we enhance the feeding distance during casting Option A. Reducing molten metal temperature. Option B. Increase fluidity. Option C. By using low thermal conductivity mold. And option D. Using sand mold. So basically, in case of the feeding distance reducing by reducing the molten metal temperature and using a low thermal conductivity mold. So basically for the sand castings, the feed distance will be low because that will be the heat extracted by the sand it is very less as compared to the metals so that's why we are increasing the fluidity when metal can be flow over a long distance which results into the higher feeding distance so for this enhancing the feeding distance during the castings that will be by a increasing a fluidity. So option B. The next question. When do we need more number of risers during the casting? Option A. Feeding distance is low. Option B. Feeding distance is high. Option C. Thermal conductivity of mold is high. And option D. Fluidity of molten metal is high. So basically, in case of the feeding distance that will be higher, so the number of isolated zone into the castings will be less. So the less number of risers is being required. But for high thermal conductivity, the metal will solidify faster. And at your high fluidity, the molten metal will flow over a long distance. So which results that will be the less number of the risers. So, if feeding distance is low, then we have to use more risers to overcome that isolated liquid pools. So, the right answer is option A. The next, while cooling, a cubical casting of size 40 mm undergoes 3%, 4% and 5% volume shrinkage during the liquid state. The phase transitions and solid state respectively. The volume of the metal compensate from the riser is Option A 2% Option B 7% Option C 8% And Option D 9% So basically in case of the riser compensate from the volume for a shrinkage during the solidification process so the volume of the metals that need to be compensated from the riser and that will be approximate the 3 to 4. So 3 plus 4 that will be the 7. So the 7 percentage. So that will be the basically during the liquid state which will be containing the 3 percent and phase transitions that will be 4 percentage. So this 3 plus 4 it will be 7. So overall that will be the 7 percentage. The next question, two streams of liquid metal which are not hot enough to fuse properly result into a casting defect known as Option A, cold shirt, Option B, swell, Option C, sand wash and Option D, scab. So basically two streams of the liquid metal which are not hot enough to fuse properly result into the castings that will be known as a cold surge. So option A. Then next question. In getting system, the ratio 1 inch to 2 inch to 4 represent. Option A. Pouring basin area, ingate area, runner area. Option B. Pouring basin area, ingate area and casting area. Option C, sprue base area, runner area and ingate area. Option D, runner area, ingate area, 
casting area. So basically the getting systems that will be representing this ratio. So basically that will be the cross sectional area of sprue, runner and ingate. So sprue base area, runner area and ingate area. So the right answer is option C. The next green sand mold indicates that option A polymetric mold has been cured. Option B mold has been totally dried. Option C mold is green in color and option D mold contains moisture. So as from the name green sand molds that will be indicates as a containings with a moisture into the sand. So option D. The next which one of the following getting system is best suited to obtain directional solidification. Option A top getting system. Option B parting get system. Option C bottom get and option D step get. So basically if you want to controlling that directional solid equation process. So you should preferring parting get systems. So the right answer is option B. The next hardness of green sand mold increases with option A increase in of moisture content beyond 6 percentage. Option B increase in permeability. Option C decreases in permeability and option D increase in both moisture content and permeability. So basically if you are increasing with respect to the hardness of the green sands. So that will be only possible with respect to the decreasing into the permeability. So the right answer is option C. The next converging passage is used for feeding the liquid mortal into the mold too. So basically increases the rate of feeding. Option B quickly break up the protruding portions of the casting. Option C decrease wastage of the cast metal and option D avoid asperization of air. So basically for converging passage is used for feeding the liquid molten metal into the mold. So to avoid aspiration of air. So the right answer is option D. The next question. Which of the following is used to improve the directional solidification for difficult casting geometries? Option A. Chills. Option B. Chaplets. Option C. Step gate. And option D. Runner extensions. So basically for improvement of the directional solidification for a complex geometry or you can say difficult casting geometries. So chills is being used. So the right answer is option A. The next, which of the following materials cannot be used for making pattern? Option A, aluminium. Option B, wax. Option C, mercury. And option D, lead. So basically, aluminium wax and lead that will be used as a pattern material. But mercury that will be not used as a pattern material. So the right answer is option C. The next question, in carbon dioxide molding process, the binder used is option A, sodium bentonite, option B, calcium bentonite, option C, sodium silicate and option D, phenyl formaldehyde. So in case of the carbon dioxide molding process, that will be the most preferred binding as a sodium silicate. So right answer is option C. Match the item in the first column to their functions into the second column. So let's see P that will be sprue, then Q, riser, R, get, S, pouring basins. So let's see the option A, P1, Q2, R3, S4. Option B, P2, Q4, R1, S3. Option C, P4, Q2, R1, S3 and last option D, P2, Q4, R3, S1. So starting with the P sprue. 
सो बेसिकली स्प्रू डेट विल बी यूज टू फीड मोल्टन मेटल फ्रॉम पुअरिंग बेजिन टू द गेट सो पी टू डेट विल बी द फर्स्ट चॉइस और कैन से डेट विल बी द फर्स्ट मैचिंग सो आइदर डेट विल बी द बी ऑप्शन और डी ऑप्शन देन फॉर क्यू राइजर सो बेसिकली राइजर हैविंग अ फंक्शन लाइक सप्लाय द मोल्टन मेटल टू कंपेन्सेट फॉर द लिक्विड स्ट्रिंकिंग so q4 so both are having q4 then r get so basically get that will be regulates the flow of the molten metal into the mold cavity so r1 so basically up to now we decided our answer b but just you can see for s pouring basin so that will be act as a reservoir for the molten metal so basically just you can see this all are the relations or can say matching numbers so p2 q4 r1 s3 so the right answer is option b the next in sand casting fluidity of the molten metal increases with option a increase in degree of superheat option b decrease in pouring rate option c increase in thermal conductivity of the mold and option d increase in grain size so basically in case of the sand castings the fluidity of the molten metal increases with increasing into the degree of superheat so the right answer is option a the next which of the following casting processes uses expandable pattern and expandable mold so let's see the option a cell mold casting option b investment casting option c pressure die casting and option d centrifugal casting so basically in case of the investment casting process that will be utilization as a expandable pattern as well as the expandable mold so the right answer is option b the next solidification time of a metallic alloy casting is option a directly proportional to its surface area option b inversely proportional to the specific heat of the cast material option c inversely proportional to the thermal diffusivity of the mold material and option d inversely proportional to the pouring temperature so basically in case of the solidification time for a metallic alloy into the castings that will be inversely proportional to the thermal diffusivity of the mold material so the right answer is option c the next wood floor is added to core sand to improve option a collapsibility of core option b dry strength of core option c shear strength of core and option d tolerance on casting so basically for easily removing the core from the sand mold if you want to make a hollow casting so at that time the wood floor that being added to the core sand so basically that will be increasing the collapsibility of the core so that core it will be easily break so that will be easiest task for removing the core for producing a hollow casting so option a the next cell molding is an investment casting process option a true option b false so obviously cell molding that will be not an investment casting process so b false the next the optimum pouring time for a casting depends on several factors so one important factor among them is option a location of riser option b porosity of sand mold option c fluidity of casting metal and option d area of the pouring basin so basically the optimum pouring time for a castings that will be depends upon the several factors but major factor that will be considering as a fluidity of the casting metal so the right answer is option c the next ceramic slurry is used in making the molds for option a investment casting 
ऑप्शन बी डाई कास्टिंग ऑप्शन सी सेल मोल कास्टिंग एंड ऑप्शन डी सेंट्रिफिकल कास्टिंग्स सो बेसिकली द सीरामिक्स लरी डेट वुड बी यूज फॉर मेकिंग अ सेल मोल कास्टिंग सो ऑप्शन सी सो इफ यू लाइक दिस देन सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स थैंक यू सो मच एंड कीप वॉचिंग